Walter Wenderin Jr.'s book The Book of the Dun Cow, 1978, is loosely based on the fable Chanticleer and the Fox, adapted from Geoffrey Chaucer's The Nun's Priest's Tale and the Canterbury Tales. In this profound fantasy novel, Chanticleer the rooster rules over a peaceful kingdom. However, unbeknownst to the animals that live there, Worm, an evil monster imprisoned underground, is breaking free. Comedically, the book of the dun cow presents the animals' clashes in personality and their wit and foibles, but comedy soon becomes horror when Worm unleashes his forces of chaos and madness. The book became the New York Times Best Children's Book of the Year and won a U.S. National Book Award. The rooster Chanticleer rules his company of hens and the area surrounding his coop. He is presented as a good ruler, albeit with a somewhat flawed character. He is revealed to be quick to anger and self-important. The novel is set prior to the book of Genesis, at a time when humans are not yet present upon the earth. The animals have been placed on earth before humans to protect the world from worm, an ancient and evil creature that is trapped at the earth center. Chanticleer learns that Ebenezer Rat has been sneaking up to the coop at night and eating the hen's eggs. He is also trying to get used to a new member of the community, Mundo Connie, a dog that is depressed and constantly cries out in anguish. Another country lies across the river from Chanticleer's kingdom. There, another rooster, Cenex, lives. He is characterized as a weak ruler, whose subjects think little of him. Cenex is also greatly troubled that he lacks a son. One day, Worm speaks to Cenex in his dreams, instructing him to put his faith in Worm, and he will deliver to Cenex a son of his own. Cenex follows Worm's instructions, and soon, he defies the natural mating order by laying an egg. When the egg hatches, Cockatrice, a horrible monster, is born. He has the head, legs, and wings of a chicken, but the thin, scaly, gray body of a serpent. He murders Xenex, taking his kingdom for himself. A toad serves as the speaker for Cockatrice. Cockatrice, an evil tyrant, rapes all the hens he rules, so that he can birth an army of basilisks poisonous snakes he intends to use to crush any animals that oppose his will. Some of the animals escape the land, making it to Chanticleer's kingdom, where they attempt to forget the past. When spring arrives, the animals are filled with joy. Chanticleer has bred three sons with one of the hens that escaped Cockatrice. Her name is Pertilet. Chanticleer is struck with prophetic visions about the river beside his land. He dreams of the river rising up and submerging everything in his kingdom. One of God's messengers, the dun cow, comes to Chanticleer with an enigmatic riddle about how he can defeat the three evils he faces, Cockatrice, the army of basilisks, and Worm. When Chanticleer's three sons are discovered lying dead by the river, everyone is struck with sorrow. Ebenezer Rat is also found dying with a basilisk in his mouth. Chanticleer learns the story of Cockatrice from his wife, and he learns that Cockatrice is making war on the animals to make way for Worm. Chanticleer gathers all the animals in his kingdom. Soon, a wild turkey named Thuringer is attacked and dies from a basilisk's bite. Mundo Connie saves the rest of the turkeys. When war breaks out between the animals of the kingdom and the basilisks, the animals, suffering many casualties, purge the land of the snakes. Chanticleer then puts on war spurs and goes to the battlefield to confront Cockatrice. The battle is bloody, but Chanticleer is the victor. He throws Cockatrice's head into the river. Chanticleer faints from weakness and is brought back to the coop. A great crack opens in the land, and Worm begins to make his way into the world. Inside the coop, Chanticleer stirs but is delirious from his exhaustion. He sees Mundo Connie and, thinking him a traitor, orders him to leave. The animals all agree that Chanticleer is acting delusional and that Mundo Connie should not leave. The dog tells them he knows what he must do and leaves the coop. The other animals are confused and a delirious Chanticleer shouts for Worm to arise so they may fight. As Worm is about to emerge onto the earth, Mundo Connie arrives, holding the horn of the dun cow as a weapon. The dog lures Worm out with insults, and Worm falls for the trick, sticking out his eye, so that he can see his opponent. Mundo Connie leaps onto Worm's eye, impaling it with the horn in his mouth. Worm falls back into the crack in the earth, and the surrounding area collapses, burying both Worm and Mundo Connie. The animals attempt to return to their normal lives, but Chanticleer breaks down before his wife. He cries, remembering the final words he spoke to Mundo Connie before he sacrificed himself. His wife comforts him, telling him to honor Mundo Connie and to ask for forgiveness. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.